Okay, so I cast this. Hey up, today's video is on me casting this uh, bronze axe. Uh, weighs 1.6 kilograms, uh, 3 pounds 11 ounces. Uh, it's made of 95% uh, copper, 4% silicon, and 1% uh, manganese. Yeah, and I uh, go through making the bronze, casting, and polishing it up. I'm going to give this to my buddy uh, Dennis, who lives up in uh, Springfield, Mo. Uh, he's going to work hard in the edge, uh, put a handle on, wrap it with leather, give it that Viking look. Um, so, Dennis, uh, hope you enjoy. Anyway, uh, on with the show. Okay, so this is my rough design of the axe I'm thinking of doing. Um, I can't get it right. I keep changing it. So I'm just going to transfer it over to wood. Uh, I'll make a two-piece of this and then just kind of carve it out until I got something I like. Sometimes I'm retarded. I've got a bandsaw. Uh, well, it's a shopsmith with a bandsaw. So I'm going to cut that on the bandsaw. <laughs> this is going to be where my inner core goes, uh, representing the handle. And I'll do that with these two, two C channel put together. And I'll make some uh, sodium silicate and water glass. And then I've got my two molds. I'm going to set off this water glass with this uh, CO2 fitting and I've got my sand uh, I sifted it first through that it's got it down to a small grit and this will I've kind of letting it dry out a little bit so that's almost perfect like that okay so I've got the inner core mold done or packed down so I'm going to put it in here okay so now I've got that charged with CO2 leave it for maybe five minutes until the ends are um, crusty then I'll open one side, hit it again, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now to crack this open, a few taps around, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the second one. Yes. Okay, so for good measure, I'm going to stick it back in here again and hit it with some more CO2. Okay. I had two attempts at doing that inner core and they both broke. So it's hot now, it's humid, I'm doing it outside, so I want to do the variables. A 25 to 1, 20 to 1, 15 to 1, and a 10 to 1. So I'm going to try and do a brake test. 
that just fell apart. Okay, that stayed up a little bit better. <clears throat> wow, that was difficult. <clears throat> 15 to 1 is probably the best. Okay. Okay, so I've got uh, this back in here again. I'm going to see if I can... Let that sit in there for a little bit. Uh, hopefully it'll cook that off. Okay, so I put heat on these long time this one mm, waving flame around this one's got a definite pinker color same with these ones so I'm going to kind of ah, that kind of broke maybe two pounds pressure okay that just disintegrated about the same force that way Not sure if that preheating actually gives you anything. Okay, so I'm going to put the bottom on now. I should probably push this through.
I had a problem with my frosty tea. The uh, the nozzle was clogged, so I was getting that uh, no pressure. Okay, so I took this out of the sand, and this is a bar I poured with the leftovers. Uh, poured very smooth. Cleaned it up a little bit. Um, here's a tin bronze that I did. Really rough. They all came out like this. And the color. So comparing the two, comparing the two, it's very similar. Um, but way easier to pour. So I may start using this unless I want to go um, specifically uh, the tin bronze. Now the casting, uh, the inner core is there, here so I'm going to cut that off, cut that across there, there and there. Uh, I did a pour basin, but a small one, came down, tapered sprue, uh, put some vent holes in, they came out and this is the, uh, uh, the riser. Um, all came out really nice not sure what this stuff is I hope it's not the magnesium but uh, or it could just be copper that flaked anyway I'm going to do a quick clean up on this and we'll get back to it uh, back in a bit Okay, so I used a brand new four and a half inch 24 grit, uh, just a normal grinding wheel. You can see before and after. Uh, so it's actually taking a pretty good chunk off. Uh, but this worked really well. Now I'm going to try a 120 grit. Um, this just took it down. So I'm going to now kind of sand this off. There's a couple of porosity, but that was a deep one but overall it looks pretty good so I'm gonna give it a sand with this and then I may just dress it up with a file to keep it even but uh, I'm happy weighs about four pounds So this thing gets very hot, so you have to have a 
So you have to have a bucket of water. So I just finished with 300 grit. Uh, I'm gonna do 1,000 grit and maybe 2,000 quarter a day. Uh, coming out really nice, so really happy with it. And just polishing it up. I'm just using toothpaste, although it gives it a funny smell. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had fun making uh, this uh, axe head, and I'm going to give it to my buddy uh, Dennis. He lives up in Springfield. He's got a, f a forge, and he's going to uh, work hard in it, the blade and add a handle and make it really cool and viking looking so uh enjoy dennis and everyone else thank you for watching